Oh my god, I nearly got taken out. Welcome everyone and welcome to today's video. We are at Monza for an F1 fixed race. 14 laps round Monza. Now we stuck it on P3. Um, I was hoping that I'd get on the top row, but it wasn't meant to be. Uh, mainly because I wanted a nice clear run down to the first chicane because as we know with Monza uh, and with this car in particular, um, it's, it's quite treacherous. <laughs> um, I'm not saying I don't trust other racers, but um, yeah, I don't trust you, <laughs> especially down into this first chicane. F1 cars don't have brake lights, um, so uh, yes, we're hoping just to get a great start or the best start that we can off the line, um, head down into that first chicane and then just pray to the gods that we do not get hit from behind and then we can get on with the race. So yeah. Fingers crossed, remember to hit that like and subscribe button, turn those notifications on, and enjoy. P3, the track temp is 31 Celsius. Get ready. Floor it. Come on. Jesus Christ, someone really sent it there. It's a big mess in. Very anti Del Retifilio. Oh my god, I nearly got taken out. What the fuck was that? Yeah, someone's not happy. All right, see if we can pull away. How many cars died Try and keep him out of the DRS you're looking, zone. You're looking really good. Come on, keep your focus. Little lock up there. Can't keep things within track limits. Well, it looks like Dan behind has had an incident. Little wobble. I don't even know how many are out of the race at the start. Typical Monza. <laughs> the guy behind has just done a 123.32. Keep it within track limits as well. 
We all know how easy it is to pick up easy one X's around here. So we've got to keep an eye on that gap and just maintain it really, keep them out of the RS zone, keep them out of any draft. Well that's not the best way to do it though. Too deep and then too tight. Take that off track there. We just had a warning for cutting the track. I don't want to do that too often though. Consistent lap time so far. Oh, it was a bit slow there. Second Lesmo. Made a bit of time on him though behind. <laughs> Careful. Yeah, I'm definitely a lot quicker than through that second chicane than the Lesmos. That's where I'm making up time on him. He's a bit quicker and through a scar than I am though. Easy to get squiggly on the rear. I 
Oh, that's so slow, Scott. That's so slow. Just uh, timing that entry a little bit inconsistently at the moment. Maintaining the gap nicely. The gap behind is now 2.6 seconds. <coughs> Half distance, fuel looks good. Lap times are pretty consistent. careful about scrubbing those rear tyres through Ascari. So much quicker for me there. Then I just make up all that time for the second chicane and the Lesmos make it back. Feel the rear slip ever so slightly when I get on full throttle out of there. Out the last corner. He is a lot more confident into that chicane than me.
Sylvester Scary. Sylvester Scary. About a bit more traction there. Just, just have to wait just half a second more before getting on full throttle. Three laps left. Once again, not as smooth through there as I'd like, more throwing it into the entry. Going for it now. He's picked up some time on me there in the last couple of corners. That was a much better chicane. Actually made time up on him there. Not as planted as I could be, a bit easy on the throttle, don't want to risk anything. Last lap. One more lap, keep it together, we'll win this. You've just done a 123.68. more corners. Happy days, first race of the week. Perfect Kept drive. it clean Absolutely at Monza. Flawless. Got off probably my best ever start. Thoroughly, well, of course I enjoyed that because I won. A bit boring, but I'll take it. And good to see Adrian Clark, who is also a member and subscriber of the channel, finishing in fourth position. Happy days.
good race for the community all round. But of course, guys, I know what you want to see. You want to see what happened at the start. So do I. Let's go. Congrats, Tuppy. Well done. So, guys, let's have a look at that amazing start that we had and what happened right behind us as well because I remember seeing like a car either send it or lose it behind me I couldn't quite tell I just knew it was very close to my rear wheels and we was very lucky and then yeah either at the second chicane uh, there was a lot of shouting and shouts of protests and things like that so yeah let's let's have a look at this start again so our start one of the best starts I've had in a long time. Very minimal wheel spin. Did get some in the second phase, but perfect launch. Look at that, amazing. Now what happened here? Oh, okay. Right, let's just let's just rewind that back. There is clearly a Mercedes that <laughs> comes past us. Oh wow, wow. Let's this, this run about a little bit more. What's happened here? So he's been punted from behind. Net code again. Oh my god, that was so close to hitting me. And oh no, P I didn't realise that. P2 or P1. It was he P was P1. Went straight into him. There was nothing. There was nothing they could do. They were both passengers in that. Oh, that's such a shame. I mean, not for me, because it meant I didn't really have any challenge. <laughs> But, oh, look how close he is here. Oh, that's not good. Wow. That is, that was so close. So close to hitting my rear tires. Well, yeah, let's, uh, that was that. I mean, normally I'm on the receiving end of those, so I definitely count my lucky stars. But I, I deserved that after the good start. I deserved it. But let's uh, let's have a look at what happened. I assume was anything else that happened here? Doesn't really look like it. We'll see what else happened. Now I've actually skipped ahead, guys, and found out what exactly caused the shouts at the start. Um, there were shouts of protests and people were angry and rightfully so now we're on board with Michael here and what you're about to see is what we don't ever want to see in iRacing now some of you may be thinking that this is wrong of me to to show his name and but I think people need to be called out for these 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 actions basically um and just highlight that this is not right whatsoever let's just play it and i'll show you so we're heading out of was it the first chicane round curva grande into the second chicane this is first lap bearing in mind guys Now, I don't know if you noticed there. Did you hear a break? Did you hear a lift? Because I didn't. Just listen again. None at all. Now, some of you may be thinking, has he ruined his... Did his pedals have a malfunction? Anything like that? I'm going to bring it back to the first lap. And we're just going to play it. And this is the reason why I believe this is a retaliation act. Heading down to the first chicane. Because of that. So because this Mercedes here clipped him, I believe I could be wrong, but he's either got a black flag, but... His car seemed to be going round the first chicane and through Curva Grande pretty fine. If he had suspension damage, the rear would definitely be wobbly. But if you look here, 
himself and the car on the left, who is actually Adrian, one of our members, and rightfully so, were quite cautious and broke a little bit earlier than they probably well, could have done heading down into the first corner. They could have probably braked about the 100 because I think that's whereabouts I broke. This guy got caught out by it, he's in the draft and he's clipped him. It's unfortunate. Not intentional, he's made a quick dart to the left, he could have quite easily have ended up in the back of him. Now, look, it is what it is, it's not ideal, but hopefully his car was fine and he was able to continue. But what he then did from then on is just as a, what I believe is a total retaliation act and why myself and a number of others will be putting in a protest for this because we don't want these guys on the platform. It, in the day, we pay good money to be on this platform and our time, we want, we want to enjoy the races as best as we can. Sometimes crashes can't be helped, but this is something that definitely can be and is not acceptable. And I don't know who's in the red car, but the red car is also a complete passenger here from something that was totally, totally avoidable. And he's lucky he didn't cl clatter the other car in front of him as well. He could have taken out three cars there. So not acceptable, my call. Um, you need to take some time to reflect on yourself and maybe see some anger management classes. On to the next incidents. Here we are. Last corner. Oh, tank slapper. So easy to do there. I actually quite like this here. I don't think this is a rubber band movement. This. Is it a rubber band movement? I'm not sure. I'm going to give iRacing credit here and say that that is a reaction of the nose dipping into the gravel because that's how real life F1 cars react when they're in gravel, when that same thing happens. I won't give iRacing credit there. I like that, it's the, it's the small touches, the small touches like that that uh, make a difference and make things a little bit more realistic. Ascari. Yeah, he looked a little bit loose, a little bit loose going through there. His cars are made of, of paper. Oh, well held, well held. That could quite easily have ended up like the first guy who lost it there. Oh. 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 <laughs> My God. There was just car after car, wasn't there? Let's look at that back. So he's, he's locked up the rears. No, he's locked up the fronts, sorry. And then he's actually at a nice angle to enter the chicane. A little bit of a net code from behind again. This guy takes his front wing off. Oh my God, this was a right series of events, wasn't it? I mean, he's still spinning up his wheels. Stop spinning the wheels. <laughs> oh, another net code punt. Jesus. The net code gods don't like Benjamin. And then he's just a little bit impatient to get back on track and oh, head straight in. Unfortunately, this, this guy in the red, he just ran too deep. If he didn't run deep and ran a normal line, he would have been okay, but he's clattered him. Oh dear. Did he manage to stop? Oh my God, that was fine margins between him losing his front nose. Well played, sir, well played. But yeah, that, that, that went on for a long time, didn't it? And that was it, guys. That is all the incidents that were in the race. Um, some shocking, some that are just typical Monza. Um, we were very lucky, but I think we deserved that luck after the great start that we had. So yeah, a brilliant start to the week. Hopefully it can continue 
And uh, yeah, I've never had a week at Monza where I've totally avoided um, crashes. So <laughs> it's probably bound to happen at some point. But nonetheless, I'll take that first win in the first race of the week. So I hope you guys enjoyed that. Remember to hit that like and subscribe button. Turn those notifications on and see you for the next one. Bye.